Hello my friends and welcome back to another TFT video where we are playing once again on the ranked ladder currently sitting at plat 2 climbing up slowly but surely every chance I get to play I just pop here do a recording usually win even though we've been on kind of a bad loss streak but this is the video to break it all into a million pieces we're gonna do good I got a feeling Looks like we got champion conference, so every stage we gain a champion that fits our team. And I believe this is currently patch 14.8. I think they're doing a B patch soon to nerf Kane because he's super busted. But we might actually play that ourselves this game if it's not nerfed. I'm pretty sure it won't be, but I have no doubt in my mind that there will be many, many other people trying to go Kane right now. Without a doubt. So maybe we avoid going that, depending on what we get here. Sell this, buy this. Maybe we could uh, play some ghostly. I'm gonna keep Kha'Zix, just in case. Oh, this guy looks like he's going. Bruiser, Kai'Sa, Sniper. Behemoth, Behemoth, more Bruiser. Looks like a lot of people are going Kai'Sa, actually, so. Maybe we won't go that. Oh, I mean, this is kind of cool. Uh, two wardens and a dragon lord walk into a bar. And I want to pre level, so I'm gonna sell all of these and just pre level here. Got a lot of high cost units, so I probably want, I don't know, like Alexa or Jaina would be really good right now. That's really what I what I'm hoping for. Jaina? Lux? Nope, neither one. That's unfortunate. We'll get something good here though. Over encumbered, I hate that one. I'm not even gonna look at it. I don't wanna wait that long for player combats. And risky moves, one of my favorites of all time, so we'll pick that. Did we really just get that? That's kinda crazy. That's a little crazy, bro. And then, honestly, right? It just makes sense. I guess I could have had four ward in there, but what's even the point, right? Um, so it doesn't look like I have any damage dealers. So that's a little sad, but we have a two star Diana for some reason. We got really, really lucky and high rolled. So yeah, like porcelain would be pretty good. Porcelain would be pretty sweet. Maybe like a Lux or uh... yeah, Lux would be sweet, dude. Look at her Diana go though. She's really strong. Look how strong she is. Oh, he's just picking up all my units. That's too bad, bud. Probably won't be staying that the whole time. But maybe I will. Gotcha, bro. I uh, wonder... Well, I could definitely build a porcelain spat if I get a spatula. Uh, this, I guess. I think that'd be alright. This and a Lux. And then we're sitting pretty... Whenever we find a Lux, hopefully soon. I always love taking risky moves because then you can, like, usually you're going first on carousels. So this early one is fantastic. If we build a porcelain spat already and put it on Diana, she will be very, very, very tanky. Uh, looks like a lot of bruiser comps, right? I'm not crazy. I see a lot of bruiser comps going on right now. No, not my Amumu. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Heal up, son. Heal up, son. Heal it up, boy. Okay, I'm pretty sure I won this one, right? Got him. Get him, get him, get him. Nice. Uh, nothing crazy to add yet. I guess I could pick him up for Invoker. 
if anything. Like we got an Arcanist Nico. I'm just gonna do it, dude. Just wanna have some more stuff in there. Could actually go for for Warden. Maybe we do go that. I mean, we definitely don't take out two star Diana though. That's just way too good right now. Ah, here's our competition who is also going Lux. But I'm pretty sure we win this fight. We want to keep win streaking. We didn't give up so much of our HP for nothing, so we definitely want to keep on win streaking as much as we can. And I guess if I had four Warden in there, that'd be pretty sick. Why not? He was exalted. Nobody. Well, actually, I do, I do see some exalted units that would not be bad. And as much as I want that Jaina, I think the sword for an actual item that she needs might be a little bit better. This will actually give her a Spear Shojin, which is pretty good on her, I'm pretty sure. It's like a very good, actually. She has 75 mana, so she really benefits from having a Spear of Shojin. We'll put that on her then. No spatula, though, which is sad, because we really wanted porcelain, but can't always get it. Okay, that's a freaking Galio, dude. Um, I really want to add this Galio in there somehow. Is there any way that I can do that? Anyway, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably better than her, right? Exalted Trick Shot, Nautilus Bard, and Lissandra I could add in there. I don't know. I guess I'm just holding on to these for now. Then just go ahead and do this. I suppose if I get like a like a ribbon, I might put her in there. This guy's level five. Oh, and he has a Yone. Somebody get that man. Can I blast him? Almost. Not quite. Get him. Get him. Nice. Nice. Good. We needed to win that, dude. What can I say? We had to win that one. It was for our own good. Uh, this is just four gold, so I just put me at five, six, seven. Mm. Could almost make ten gold, but... Morgana offers you a choice. Upgrade your next two cost champion or gain gold. How about we upgrade the next two costs that we get? Not exactly what we wanted, so we might just sit on here for a little bit. Yeah, I think we're not going to do anything here. We want a two-star Jaina. <laughs> That's what we really want, so we can try to three-star her quickly. Uh, this guy has two. He's like going the same thing I am. It's so annoying. Okay, this guy's going the build uh, that we all know. More Bruiser. Faded. And Bruiser. Lots of Bruiser. Uh, if anything, maybe I'd sell that. Just to uh, make some gold here. We really, really want to hit that two star. Man, look at Galio doing work, bro. He's doing a great job right now. Okay. Somebody get this dude. Oh, she's got it, right? Maybe? Oh, uh, almost. You guys got that. You're tanky. You're tanky, boys and girls. Nice. Good. Good. We want to keep winning. Don't want to lose here. Not yet. Nah, we don't want to lose at all, actually. We want to kind of just win streak the rest of the game. So, how many rounds is this? Uh, seven rounds. Seven player rounds, right? player combats so it's been one two three four five two more two more player combats before we can get our gold and start making some serious eco we're close we're close 
Hopefully we get something we actually need here. Maybe like a bow for an Asher's. That's not it. I mean, if we build an Archangels, that will also be good. Gauntlet. That's not what we want either. Come on. Sword. Uh, not the best drops, but we did get a Diana, which is nice. Ooh. I mean, could do this for four warden. Or we could add her in there. And take some wardens out here. Like, let's do this, dude. Let's just do this. <laughs> That's fine, right? Uh, I guess I could add her in. Maybe I should sell my wardens here. Like, some of them at least, right? Go into, like, more of a uh, little story we uh, weaver pivot rather than so many wardens. I think that might be better, and I'll make you go. There we go. Okay, this should be our six-player combat. And then after our seventh one, we should get our gold and be on a healthy road to a good eco. Gargantuan Resolve. Not today, an epoch. Now and at the start of every stage, gain 8 experience and 3 free, free rerolls. Only for that round. Not today. It's not really going to be useful for us. Pandora's items might be, though. And that's not going to be useful for us either. Let's just reroll this to see what we get. I mean, that's not bad. Your units gain 18 ability power, but we really want to make sure we hit absolutely everything we need. There's a Lee Sin as well. Which will give us some more Dragon Lord. Which is really, really nice. Uh, I'm not sure who I should put this on. I feel like maybe Lux. I think I am going to put it on Lux. Is there a lot of people going Porcelain? Any Porcelains? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that guy has a Lux, but that's pretty much it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it on her. She can hit the back line sometimes in it look like that and it works out really well sometimes not always okay so zoe i'd usually add in a zoe here to get story weaver going but it's just not gonna do this time um because we want to just add in more dragon lords you know gargantuans actually now that i look back on it gargantuans would have been pretty good on lee sin here but it's a little too late for that one chief it's going to be our next carry that we throw in there. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Uh, not that much gold to level up. And just make our board even stronger. I know I said I would eco. But I am a sucker for leveling up really fast. So I'm going to do the sec. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give him a BF sword. Edge of Night is honestly not that bad on him. So he can live and just keep on doing his skill. But I think I might just want to add, like, really strong items onto him. Like a Bloodthirster and two Titans or something like that. We'll see. I, I would want to just give him more AD. That's what I really want to do. And a Bloodthirster for sure. He definitely needs one of those. Okay, like, another Sage unit would also be good or a sage would be good or another dragon lord uh, a rakan would be pretty nice rakan where are you there you are okay uh bloodthirster is what we're looking for i forgot i also need this so i should have slammed that chain vest unlucky man unlucky Oh, there's a cloak right there, actually. We do want that. Okay, we didn't get that, so... We'll just take the Zoe for gold, and she has a bow, which we do need. Unfortunately, we didn't slam this chain vest, so we can't build the Titan's Resolve right away. But we do have a bow component, at least, so... It's not the end of the world. Uh, we did get this, which we needed very much, and now we can just slam the bow on there, and... Is there anything that we could add in to 
to make ourselves stronger if we level up. Sage would definitely help the front and the back line. So that's actually what we're going for. Would be like a Morgana or something like that. We'll see if we hit. Oh, dude, this guy already three-starred Lux. Are you serious? How? He must have rolled down really hard, right? Yeah, he has zero gold. Okay, that's fair. I respect it. I do it sometimes. I sure do. Oh, we want that stun pretty badly. Come on, get him, get him. Just keep stunning him. Keep stunning him. Stun him. He's too strong. He's OP, man. Freaking OP, dude. Oh, get, get it, though. You can get it, though, bro. You can get it, though, bro. Screw that OP comp. Oh? What does that give me? Just Spirit Walker? I mean, these are really good items for our, for our dude here. We're gonna chill on that, though. We're gonna chill on that until after Wolves. Then we might level up again. Just because I want to put Udyr in. He wouldn't be a bad unit to slam in there. Even though I did just say that Sage would have been a really good addition. Which is true, but... I mean, that's a new deer right there, bro. We want him. We want him in play. Thinking maybe I should put Lee Sin one tile back so he doesn't just get targeted like this. It really sucks seeing him get targeted that far with without anything to be done about it. Uh, can we get this guy? Can we get him? Oh, one more hit. Nice. Dude, Lux's stun is kind of crazy sometimes. Get it, get it. <laughs> nice, dude. We're on a win streak, that's for sure. It's too bad that that one guy stole our Lux. Our three-star Lux that we deserved so, so badly. Okay, here's another Warden. But, uh... I think the Age of Wardens is up, right? We were gonna... I mean, that takes away Arcanist, so I, I'm not really about that. I'm more about adding traits rather than getting rid of them, so we're not, we're not doing that. All right. What are we going to get here? Tom Kench, we don't want that. Oh. One. Oh, it switched it up at the last moment. That's so sad. Oh, another Lee Sin. It's huge. Didn't mean to put him in, though. That's a bit sad, as we had the... We had the other Titans resolve, but we lost it at the last second there. If I get an Edge of Night, I might be persuaded into slamming that on him instead. And out of all these units that I have here, I probably need Zyra the least. Alright, hopefully we win this guy. It's another Kane player. Um, maybe our Udyr will put in some work here. Ooh, come on, dude. I mean, Lee Sin is a lot stronger with the items that he has on right now. That's for sure. And Lux just keeps sniping dudes. Sniping them, dude. Alright, we got that guy hard. <laughs> you know what I mean. We got him good. Uh, Warden Cross, enter the... Enter the dragon. It's the only thing I see in there. And then this... All right, we just have to chill till we go level nine. I can't believe it just gave us the Titans Resolve like that, but we'll take it. And we'll add Morgana in there whenever she... Whenever I reach level nine, well, we'll add Morgana in there, and then we'll probably... Should give us Sage, right? Yeah, if we add Morgana in there, we'll, we'll get Sage. And then Galio is all right, but we could probably replace him with somebody else. Uh, this guy hasn't sold Lux yet, so. He hasn't sold Lux yet, which means that we have like a really low chance of hitting her. Let's not get our hopes up, so we'll just sell her actually. I don't really care to hold her when I could just be making more bank 
Oh, dude. I poorly sin, bro. He's trying. Come on. You can do it. Oh, you can do it. She stunned so long. Why was she stunned so long like that? That's crazy to me. Got that, Menace. Oh, dude, no way. This guy is really buff. <laughs> Two-star Morg. And his Galio has really good items. I can't really be mad at that. That's just really strong. Unfortunately, we did lose our win streak off that. This guy hit three-star Riven. Yikes. Look, this is a new bruiser build I am intending to try out soon. It's actually what I originally thought to try out, but then I just didn't. Because, I mean, the game is just giving me this Dragon Lord. Dragon Lord set up pretty hardcore. Suppose I could replace... Yeah, I'm definitely going to replace Lux with Lissandra once we see her at level 9. That is for sure. But we really want to hit Rakan also. Oh, this guy. This guy's insane. Dude, he is. He's about to have two Gargantuans on that Riven. That Riven's about to be enormous. Look at her. Look at her just destroy everything. Wow, she does a lot of damage. She does quite a lot of damage. We need to find our two-star Lee Sin. Yikes, dude. Uh, there's no getting past that. We didn't even do damage to her. It's a little crazy. A bit much. Okay, so... I don't know if we want to get away. It wouldn't be terrible, but, like, we, do, we don't want to lose any. Like, probably need Wukong here. Uh, but he's gone, of course. Of course he would be. I guess I will take Quay. He's a 5 cost anyway, so... If anything, that's just good gold. I want to two-star my Lee Sin, so... I'm gonna play Hui instead of Udir. Which isn't adding much. Udir is just kind of chilling. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And put him in there. Sell that. And then I really wish we could level up here pretty badly, but... We cannot unfortunately and we should not because we will make a lot more gold this way now i really wish i had these items on my way here but what we need now is probably tank items realistically or like maybe one more dps item for lissandra whenever we find her oh yikes it's this guy this guy's pretty strong with his three star lux dude doing a lot of damage at least Sin just can't compete until he gets two-starred, unfortunately. He's trying his best, but he's just not big enough yet. I think once he gets two-starred and uh, five Dragon Lord, we'll be in a pretty good place. We're just casually loose streaking right now. Not too terribly. Not too terribly, of course. Heavenly Kane is winning. Um, and we have another Bruiser comp there. Dude, we're, we're pretty close. Okay, so this guy had some Dragon Lord units. Um, this guy does not. Porcelain, for sure. No Dragon Lord that I can see. Poor uh, Duelist and Exalted and Bruiser. Interesting. And then Heavenly, of course. So, we're so close to hitting these, and maybe we should put them in there instead. You know what? I think we will. Three-starring these units is going to take us a long way. I think that we will just hit that, uh, what we need here. Yikes, dude. Whoa, this guy walked all over our board, dude. He walked right all over it. I'm going to give Timo this rod so he can hold my rod. All right, we're fallen a little bit in hp because it seems that everybody has hit their comps man and uh talk about some strong ones we are going level nine here though so perhaps we can make a strong enough board that it won't matter too much we'll see right now if we hit some three stars we'll be in a good spot uh three star diana would be awesome for tanking 
Rakan would be great. Right now we're just getting the one that we know we can hit pretty easily, which is Jaina. She's very close. There's another Lee Sin, which is fantastic. Okay. Oh, and there's a Rakan. Okay, we definitely needed that. I think I'm going to lightly roll down just a little bit. It's a two-star Morgana. Okay, there's another Diana. I will sell this. I'll sell this as well. Um, an item, sure. Sure, dude. Don't have any tank items with this, which is pretty sad, but I think we beat this guy here. Oh, I almost forgot to pick up my Diana. That would have been extremely sad. We really want to make sure we three star her so we can actually have a front line. Okay, so we're very much in danger here. If we don't get really lucky, we might die. But hopefully we won't. Alright, let's try to hit all these puddles. I've seen the loot table for this, and it looks pretty amazing. Come on, walk, on, walk over it. Come on. Get it. Dude, come on, Tom Kench. Where's the portals at, bro? Oh, yeah, I forgot you. <laughs> you have to walk differently if you want to get the orb while it's still on there. You got to walk to, like, whatever side you're on. Ooh. Okay, I mean, this is just an easy replace right here. What's this? Gold? Bunch of gold. Dude. Can I, can I slam that? Thank you. What the? Another Lissandra. Nice. Okay, well, uh, we hit one of our three stars. Now we just need a few more units here. Two star Lissandra would be huge which I'm very close to. She'll she'll melt a lot of like really unkillable units like that Lee Sin right there. You see that? She didn't kill him, I guess, but she CC'd him for quite a bit and now he's dead. Nice. Dude, Lissandra, bro. Lissandra diff for sure. Okay, let's hopefully hit some two stars here. Galio would be pretty big, even though he... He synchronizes with nobody on my board, so, like, he could be replaced by a Wukong, I think. There's another three-star, which is nice. There's a Wukong right there. I mean, that looks a lot better, right? Gives me Sage. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I just really wanted the two-star Lissandra. I mean, that's nice. Um, okay, what are we fighting here? Okay, if we fight that Riven, hopefully we can just get her here and turn her into a teapot and call it a day. And we didn't fight her. And we're unfortunately in a pretty bad spot for that Lux. She might hit us here. She does hit us here. She doesn't have too many, like, DPS items. Or at least she has to ramp a little bit. So it buys us some time, but... Oh, the... Oh, get him. Nice, okay. Um, unlock that. There is... Dude, I don't think... Story, I don't, I'm not even like playing any Story Weaver. I need that Sage Spatula right there. That Sage, 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 Sage. It's mine, bro. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's so contested all the time. I can't believe I actually got that. Now, who can I put it on? I guess Rakan, so he can uh, have some extra HP for whatever reason. Sell that for sure. There's the two-star Lissandra. 
and uh, yeah, we'll just do that. What do we got here? We got a duelist, which this guy's really strong. We got this dude, so I want to be in the middle for that guy, and we got this dude with the ribbon. This is where I want to be ideally if I want to get that ribbon. Let's do it. Let's hopefully, we'll hopefully have gotten the guy that has ribbon there. Yep. Okay. Can you get him? He has, dude. You see that? Right on the ribbon. Get rid of her right away. She still gets stacks and stuff, but she's just not doing damage right now. And now she's stunned. Get another one out of the way into a teapot. She just targeted Riven again. Amazing. Dude, our Lee Sin is strong too. Nice. We get this guy. Yeah, we got like 30 units on him in that corner. Okay. That's good. I think we... Oh. Um... I mean, this would be fantastic if it was on a frontline unit. But this will do. This will indeed do. All right, now what else are we fighting here? Away and a really big Galio who's in our way. And it looks like he's going to be the dude to worry about here. So go ahead and put it right here. Hopefully it hits him. Should have maybe moved Lee Sin onto the other side. Oh, I think that guy surrendered, actually. He did indeed surrender. Okay, I mean, that's what you want to do. Um, this is pretty insane right here, this heavenly board. Oh, dude. Dude, he almost got him. He almost got him with that duelist board. That's nuts. Okay, what else can we add here? Um, duelist? No. I guess I'll just pick up Set, because he's a big unit. But we don't really need him. Two-starred most people, except for Wukong and Rakan. Rakan is who we really want to two-star at the moment. I'm pretty, he'll be a pretty decent tank. And we're sitting at four Sage, so... If we level up and add in a Zyra, that's actually the best thing that we could do. That's actually the best thing we could do if we get a Zyra. Um, no Zyra in my shop right now. It's a little, very little chance that I actually hit her. Oh, okay. Uh, can we get an item for him? Hodge? Not Dragon's Claw, probably. Yeah, I think Dragon's Claw. Give him a little tankiness. Won't work against this guy. Uh, it actually won't work against either of these guys. Maybe I should have reconsidered what I was going to... Okay, if that's where the cane is, he's got, but it's not. So, it's the Volley Bear. Maybe one tile to the left there would have been a little bit better. This guy has a lot of three-star units. He, he did really well to hit all these. Okay, Nautilus stun, kind of huge. Okay, my stun, kind of huge. Uh, uh, Lee Sin got melted but I made a bunch of items so and then we give him another one <laughs> give him another item which is nice another Wukong which is also nice we'll sell this for eco everybody's 30 HP right now so this is pretty crazy let me move this over here just in case he expects me to do that. I mean, the Wukong is a huge uh, target for me. But Kane is definitely the most dangerous unit of the whole set. So, there we go. Okay, hopefully he didn't look at that. And uh, it's the same guy again. Strange. Maybe I just fought his ghost board before. I really don't remember, to be honest. But this w worked last time, so maybe it'll work again. I mean, the stun is really nice, dude. Oh, did I just turn her into a teapot? Sure did. Uh, no items farmed yet. This guy won. I don't know if it was against my board, though. I really didn't look. There's the five sage. We're going to hit five sage this game, I'm pretty sure. If, we, if only we could also hit five dragon lord. That would be pretty colossal for the attack speed that all my units get. I'm going to move it over here again. 
I'm gonna do this like I'm trying to get his Wukong because that would be also good. And then I'm gonna switch right at the last second. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. I outplayed him there pretty well. All right. That gets Kane out of the way for now. Get the Wukong now. Okay, that's not the Wukong. Just turn anybody into a teapot. Nice. One more. One more cast. Oh, dude. Fantastic. Good. I'm so sick of that Kane build, bro. He's trying a three-star Kane, which means we really need to grab one. Uh, there's a Heavenly Spat right there. Which would be pretty nice for us. Of course he takes it, because it's good for everybody. That makes sense. Uh, I probably just want an item at this point. So I'll take this. This is like the best thing I can see out of that. Maybe an Edge of Night would have been pretty good for our Wukong, but... Just gonna do this real fast. Give her the Rabidons, cause she's three starred, so hopefully she'll put it to work. Switch this around for a second, just to feign it. Okay, he's rolling down really hard. I'm assuming, dude, he's so close to Wukong. I have one in the pool though, so maybe he can't hit. He's just rolling down for it right now, so he's like scared to die, which is understandable. Uh, yikes, I, I was close to placing that perfectly. One more to the left would have been perfect. It would have gotten his Volley Bear first, which is really what we wanted. We got his Volley Bear now, though. And he's stunned. Okay. The healing is helping. Sandra's having trouble casting there. Oh, he, he got the dude. He got the dude about the three-star cane. That's awesome. Okay, um, I think I just go level 10 here. It might be the last round anyway, so. That's fantastic. Hit the Wukong. Give her a tier. Um, this is admittedly one of the strongest boards I've ever made in this game. It's pretty good. And Lissandra right there should be good. If he hasn't moved. Oh, which he finally did. He finally moved his units around. Now, this will be fine, I think, because 5 Sage, but we'll see. The uh, massive amount of healing all my units get is colossal. Oh, he did get me, though. He did indeed get me. Nice. <laughs> Okay, I gotta be careful. He is finally awake. He is for sure finally awake right now, so I have to make sure I play around what I need to. Maybe a, another invoker would be good. I don't know though, 75 AP, it's kinda good. I think I just put her back here so she can get the 75 AP bonus. All right. And then hopefully our Pandoras will re-roll our, our belt there to something that we can use more. And now we roll down. Yeah, I mean, this will, this will work. A giant slayer. Hmm. <laughs> I guess maybe putting her right in the middle would have been a good play. He did trick me again, but maybe we just catch this Tristana here. Oh, dude, he's got a Lissandra as well, and she's uh, it's really doing work right now. Oh, yikes, yikes, please cast. Nice. Do we win? Nice, dude. Nice. GG. Great first game. The curse is broken. Please, if you enjoyed this, consider subscribing and following me on my journey all the way to Masters.